Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Harling. Sorry I'm so late putting on the homework, but please watch the video if you want some of the work done for you, and then you can do the rest on your own. So here's today's learning target that we were talking about in class online. We said, I can use a number line to skip count to find how many in all. So that's what we are learning. That's what we're doing for homework. I can use a number line to skip count to find how many in all. So tonight's homework, ladies and gentlemen, is lesson 3.3. You should be on page 155. I will do some on the back also, which is page 156. At the top, there's what we're doing. Skip count on a number line. So let's begin with number one. Now, number one shows the answer, but I still wanna go over it quickly. It says, draw jumps on the number line to show equal groups, find the product. So here you have six groups of three. Now remember, Ms. Harling likes to change that word to jumps because that is what we are doing. We are jumping on the number line. And you can see that they've already done that for you. They jumped six jumps and they skip counted by three. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18. So they gave you your answer. Six times three is 18. So I am not gonna do number two because number one was done for you as an example. You have to now do two jumps. Again, I'm getting rid of the word groups and I'm writing jumps. You have to do two jumps of six, okay? So you're gonna jump twice, or excuse me, they already showed you two jumps and they counted by six. You just have to write the multiplication equation on the lines. Tell me the two factors that are being multiplied and give me the product. So now let's go toward the bottom of the paper and Ms. Harley will do number three. Allie is baking muffins for her students in her class. There are six muffins in each tray. She bakes five trays of muffins. How many muffins is she baking? Now, again, we have some key words. Each tells me that I need to multiply. Also, you should be looking at, uh, let's see, the numbers that are there that they gave you. She's making six muffins in each tray and she's making five trays of those muffins. So we know the factors that need to be multiplied. Six muffins, there's going to, excuse me, six tray, six muffins, I'm sorry, six muffins. And we're gonna do that five times because we're gonna do that in five different trays so that she can give one to everyone in her class. Six groups of five make 30. You could have skip counted. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I skip counted six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's your answer. You will do number four on your own. Now at the bottom, I always do the bottom with you where it says write for math. So whenever you see that pencil, I am going to always help you with that problem. It says write a problem that can be solved by skip counting on a number line. So all we have to do, boys and girls, is write a problem and use a number line as our strategy to help us find our answer. So I'm gonna make up a problem. As I always say, you can use whatever name you want. So I'm gonna pick a name and I'll just say Erica. Or actually, you know what? I'm gonna pick somebody's name. So let's do Malia from Mrs. Graham's class, because remember, I teach my class and uh, Mrs. Graham's class. Malia 
And let me make sure I'm spelling that right. Ooh, no, I knew I wasn't spelling it right. I'm sorry, Malia. So your name, my friend, sorry, boys and girls, I want to make sure I spell her name correctly, is A-H, not H-A. Okay. So Malia is making cupcakes. So we'll kind of make our problem similar to the one I did up here for the muffins. So Malia is making cupcakes. She, and again, you're gonna have to pause the video when I'm done because I might be going too fast for you. Malia is making cupcakes. She makes, let's say, hmm, four cupcakes and I know you can't see all of that so it says she makes four cupcakes in each tray I'll stop there for a minute so you guys can copy so let me go back Malia is making cupcakes she makes four cupcakes in each tray. So let me zoom out here and I hope you can see that. Pause the video if you need to. Malia is making cupcakes. She makes four cupcakes in each tray. I'll leave it there for a few seconds and then I'm gonna keep going. My next sentence will be, after she makes four cupcakes in one tray, she will bake six trays. So if one tray only holds four cupcakes, she's going to bake four of those, or excuse me, she's going to bake six of those trays because she needs to make a lot of them. So again, she's making cupcakes. One tray holds four cupcakes. So she's going to make six of those trays. Now here comes the question. How many, oops, cupcakes does she have? All right, so here's your question. After you know she's making six trays of four, how many cupcakes does she have? I will leave it there for a few seconds so you can copy. So now I am going to make a number line and I'm going to zoom in. Now, if you haven't finished writing, you know what to do. You can pause the video and then you can hit play again when you're ready to come back to where I am. So I'm going to make a number line because that's what the directions said. I'm going to make a number line to help me solve this problem. So I get a start at zero and I'm doing four jumps of six, all right? Because she made four cupcakes in one tray and she's using six trays. So I'm gonna jump four jumps of six. So this is six, adding six, 12, adding six, 18, adding six, 24. So my final answer is 24 because 4 times 6 is 24. So there's your answer. She made 4 cupcakes in one tray 
but she's got to use six trays to make a bunch of cupcakes. And how many will she have when she's done? 24. So I'm gonna zoom out again and show you everything. There is the whole, if I can zoom out even more, let's see. Yeah, there we go. There is the whole problem. Malia is making cupcakes. She makes four cupcakes in each tray. She will bake six trays. How many cupcakes does she have? When we skip count by six, four times, we get 24. Okay, I'm going to the back. Again, if you need to hit pause because I went too fast, you may hit pause, fill in what you need to fill in, and then come back. Okay, I'm going to the back, page 156. That is the page you should be on now. All right, let me look at the top. Let's look at one and two and see if we need, if I should do one of those. Okay, let's do number one. It says, Louise skip counts by four on a number line. So she does four jumps. And she does that to find five times four. Or I'm sorry, she skip, yeah, let's underline. She skip counts by four. And she's doing that to find five times four. How many jumps should she draw on the number line? Well, when you look at the problem five times four, that's the same as fine, saying five jumps of four. So you already know the answer. How many jumps should she draw on the number line, boys and girls? Five. Watch, I'll do it for you. Five times four, I'm starting at zero. She needs to do five jumps, but she's counting by four. Four. Eight, 12, 16, 20. There's your five jumps of four, okay? All right, let's go down. I said I'm not doing number two. You have to do that on your own. Number three, estimate the sum, number four. Okay, let's do number three. All right, estimate the sum. First, we're gonna add these numbers together. Very easy, eight plus one is nine, one plus five is six, and five plus two is seven. But they want you to estimate it, so they want you to round it, boys and girls. We're gonna round it to the nearest hundred. You look at the six to see what to do to the seven. Is six a high or a low number? Six is a high number. So are we going to stay at 700 or are we going to go to the next 100, which is 800? Well, if you said 800, you are correct. 769 is closer to 800. All right, I'm not doing four. Let's go to the bottom and see what that is. Number five, let's see. All right, number six. Yeah, let's do number six. Number six has to do with a picture graph, and we haven't talked about picture graphs. You may have done that last year in second grade. It says, Toby is making a picture graph. Each picture of a book is equal to two books he has read. The row for month one has three pictures of books. How many books did Toby read during, excuse me, during month one? So first I wanna show you the key. Because when you're making a graph, there has to be a key so that you know what to do. They said up here, each picture book is equal to two books. So when you make the graph, a book is equal to two. Now, the row for the month one has three books in it. How many uh, books did Toby read? So let me just show you something. If I was making a picture graph and I said, okay, this is what um, Toby read in month one. This is how many books he read in month two. 
this is how many books he read in month three. And now if I go back up to the question, all they wanna know is how many books did Toby read during month one? They're not asking me about month two. They're not asking me about month three. And I have the key up here. My key tells me one square, which means it's a book that he read, equals two. So on this picture graph, he is skip counting by twos. And the only month that they're asking about is month one. So if I have three squares there, how many books did he read for month one? If you said six, you are correct. Because remember, the key tells us one square equals two. So this is two, four, six. So your answer for number six is that he read six books, okay? So that's it, my friends. I'm at the 16 minute mark. I try to stay under 15. I still haven't been able to do that, but we're done. We will go over the answers that you have to do by yourself tomorrow. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, have a good night. Don't forget to finish your math test. Bye.